Lando Backyard Gardening. <clears throat> so this is a tomato plant that I pulled out. And if you look at the roots, this is nematodes right here. Nematodes cause these swells to uh, form on the roots. The nematodes, they will stunt the growth of the plant or the tree. <clears throat> and here, tomatoes um, are affected by nematodes. If you plant them straight in the dirt, in the soil, <clears throat> they don't really grow too well. As you can see, tomatoes don't really form. These were just extra tomatoes that I put in the soil. But the uh, nematodes, <clears throat> unless you actually put enough good soil in there or keep them in containers, this is what usually happens. The nematodes will come, your plant will just die back. It'll, it'll be wilting <clears throat> constantly every day because the nematodes, once they damage these roots, the plant or the tree cannot absorb the water well. So they'll always have that wilting look. <clears throat> Even though you water every day, it's because they're not getting enough water because of the uh, nematodes. And this poor soil here in Florida, nematodes are a real issue. If you try to grow figs in the ground, <clears throat> figs, won't last too long either because of the nematodes. <clears throat> All right, so just wanted to share that with you. Now nematodes, so apparently they don't like too much moisture. So a lot of times mulch will help um, and keeping your soil a little more moist. But like I said, if, if you don't change your, uh, pretty much a lot of the soil that you have in there, you're still gonna the the nematodes are still gonna come in because it's harder. It's hard for you to keep on top of watering, you know, every day, every other day. So <clears throat> nematodes. This is one of Florida's uh, greatest enemy for us gardeners and and people trying to grow stuff. Nematodes. Well, well. This is Orlando Backyard Gardening, signing off, y'all. Take care.